And in a five, four, three, two, one, presto, change of battle. Hey guys, welcome back as always. My name is Lazar. And as you can plainly see, it's that wonderful time again. It's battle time. So let's check out what he brought on PC. Then we're going to be hopping on over to Kunsul. And the random item is a Limbo Immortal Skin. There you go, guys. A Immortal Skin for Limbo. But have you seen the skin on uh, Limbo Prime? It's amazing. Why would you even use this? But anyway, this is a cosmetic. So therefore, subjective and entirely up to you. I do use this skin, however. Again, it's a cosmetic. And the Prime Mod... <laughs> Prime Mods are Prime Slip Magazine and Prime Pistol Gambao. Now, when it comes to Prime Slip Magazine, this is entirely optional. Don't get me wrong. It definitely has its uses, but it's not something I would call mandatory. You can skip this one if you don't have the Dukes. But do try to pick up Prime Pistol Gambit. 187% critical chance for your secondary weapons. Uh, this is a primordial mod. Okay, 100% mandatory. What else we got? Bronze Kavat Bust. A bust indeed and you got pummel collision force full contact and crash course now of course my friends these are the impact mods impact currently in warframe is still the worst physical type okay so honestly you don't need any of these you can farm them from the game and probably one percent of your builds should have impact mods something like a stat stick for atlas for example or maybe Korra. i'm not sure about Korra, but for atlas for sure when it comes to the weapons, we got the Viper Wraith, which is a mech secondary weapon. I'm sorry, that's all that it is. It's mech at best, so only if you actually need the mastery points from this one. And the same goes for the Prisma Tetra as well. Link in the cards right now for a full tutorial on this weapon, if you want to see exactly what it's capable of. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's definitely not top 10 worthy either. And the rest will be cosmetic, so therefore subjective and entirely up to you. What can I say, my friends? Not the best lineup on PC, definitely not. You still get the free day credit booster if you need extra credits and go do some index and all whatnot. And of course, if you don't have Inaros just yet, pick up the Sands of Inaros Blueprint. This will start a quest which will eventually get you the Inaros Warframe. Now, enough about that. Let's see if our veteran on console actually have something to be smiling about. And it looks like you guys get a couple of ornaments for your ship or for your clan. And of course, cookie glyphs, because that's what you always wanted. Not prime mods, cookie glyphs. But when it comes to prime mods, you are treated to prime pressure point, prime animal instinct, prime fast hands, and prime point blank. Now, in case you don't have ducats for all of these four, prioritize pressure point and point blank. Okay, prior one on these two, mandatory. Then I will try to get prime fast hands, because with the brand new primary weapon, the shadow prime fast hands works really, really well. Prime Animal Instinct, don't get me wrong, it's a nice mod to have, but if you don't have the Ducat, simply use the normal version, it'll do the job just fine. Now, when it comes to the weapons, you got the Prisma Krakata, now everybody loves Clem, right? I love Clem, you love Clem, link the cards right now for a full tutorial on this glorious weapon. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not one of the best in the game, but it's still definitely worth picking up, just like the Prisma Dual Cleavers. Now, on a personal note, I don't have a whole lot of experience with this melee weapon, but I have a lot of clan mates that have recommended this one time and again, so do try to pick up at least one copy. And of course, more cosmetics, but you also get the Gustag Free Beacon, the Stalker Beacon, and the Zanuka Beacon. So, basically the beacons, from my point of view, uh, the point of view of a player who has played Warframe for over a year, these are a waste of ducats. But, if you don't have the patience to farm something from one of these three, you have the option to get a beacon. For example, the Stalker Ephemera. I bought at least 30 beacons for that. One. So, there you go. And of course, as before, if you don't have Inaros, pick up the Sands of Inaros Blueprint, which will eventually get you the Inaros Warframe. What can I say, my friends? Another Battle Kit here, another rather disappointing lineup for PC. Well, better luck next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. If you got any sorts of feedback for me, I would love to read it in the comment section down below. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.